Hi everyone, I'm Arash and in today's video we are going to convert a UI into a 3D isometric design in Figma. So let's dive in. Alright, so here is the interface that we are going to convert to an isometric design. I have a mobile application design here and on the right side I have this background. In order to convert a UI into an isometric design, we need to use a plugin. But before we do that, let me show you how you can prepare your design for this process. First of all, we need to decide which elements of our UI are going to have depth once we turn this whole frame into an isometric design. So for instance, I want my background to have depth I want these two cars to have depth as well. So to prepare our UI for this process, I'm going to make sure that I have a background here. I'm going to draw a rectangle that fits my frame just like that and put it inside your main frame. Okay, so here it is. And you can simply hide it because we don't need it now. I'm going to rename it to VG. And make sure that you have a background for these cards as well. So if I enter this group master card, you can see that I have this card background right behind this credit card, okay? So just make sure that it's hidden behind your credit card. I have the same thing here. As you can see, I have this rectangle, okay? All right, so I'm going to select this card frame. I'm going to copy it and paste it into my presentation frame, just like that. Let me align it. Now I'm going to use a plugin to turn this whole frame into an isometric design. If I head over to the resources section, under the plugins tab, I can search for different plugins. There are many plugins you can use for this purpose. I'm going to use this plugin called Isometric. So if you haven't used it before, make sure to look for it here in the search bar and just click on run and open this isometric plugin. There it is. Here we can decide on the angle of this isometric design. I'm going to choose top left this one and there it is our whole frame is now converted into an isometric design but we are not done yet because I want to break down this design and I'm gonna make a few of these elements float this way we could make our design more interesting so let me show you how it's done first I'm gonna expand this frame and I'm gonna choose the elements I'm gonna make float let's start with this status bar okay I'm gonna select it I'm going to bring it out. Make sure that you put it outside your cards frame, your main frame. And then I'm going to select this arrow, this left arrow. I'm going to bring it out. Next, I'm going to select this title, bring it out. Let me select these two cards, bring them out. And also I'm going to select this title, recent transactions. And finally, I'm going to choose this middle card here, one of these transaction cards and bring it out. Now I'm going to lock this cards frame so that when we move these elements, we don't accidentally put them inside this frame. OK, so by locking this main frame, you are going to make your life much, much easier. Now I'm going to select the status bar and I'm going to hold down the shift key and move it up a little bit, just like that. Not too much. Then let me select this arrow and bring it up. I'm going to do the same thing with the other elements. Let me bring up this title and also this card just like that. And now to show that this card is above this text, I'm going to make sure that it's placed above this title in the layers list. So I'm going to make sure that it's slightly above this text. Let me select this card, hold down the shift key and bring it up just a little bit. Now I'm going to select this text layer and just bring it up here. Okay. And finally, I'm going to select this card, hold down the shift key, move it up. So as you can see, now we have a beautiful isometric design, but I'm going to take it to the next level by adding depth to a few of these elements, as I mentioned before. So I'm going to add depth to this card and this card. Okay. And as you remember, I told you that you need to have this background here. So as you can see, I have it here. And what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, hold down the shift key and using the arrow keys on my keyboard, I'm going to bring it down a few pixels, not too much. So as you can see now, it looks like a three dimensional element and that's exactly what we want. However, in order to make it look more realistic, we can connect these points right here. There are many ways to do that. You can go ahead and draw a rectangle and make sure that you fill this area. However, instead of doing that, I'm going to show you a trick. If I just select this background here 
And if I hit enter to enter the edit mode, you can see that now we have a rectangle, right? It's expected. I have one node here, one node here, and two nodes right here. So what I can do is this. I can hit done. I can right click on it and I can flatten this rectangle. Okay. As soon as I do that, if I enter the edit mode now, you can see that we don't have a rectangle anymore. We have these additional nodes that are gonna help us connect these points. So I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna select this top node and just move it up to fill this area. You see, very, very easy. I'm gonna do the same thing for this point. Enter the edit mode, select this node and just bring it up. All right, as you can see, it looks much better now. Now I'm gonna select this background card and I'm gonna change its color. So here I'm gonna have some reflections to make it look more realistic. Therefore, I'm gonna use a linear gradient for this purpose. Let me select this first color. And for the first color, I'm gonna use the eyedropper and choose this purple from my main design. Let me change the direction of this gradient to something like that. Let me select this second color, increase the opacity to 100% and just change the color to this purple just like that. I'm going to add a new color right here to somehow create a fake reflection and another color is created and I'm going to make it brighter just like that. Now I'm going to add two more colors right next to this color that we just created and I'm going to make them darker just like this. You see, we could easily create this fake reflection. I'm going to repeat the same process here. I'm going to add a new color here, make it brighter. And let me add two more colors around it and make them darker. I'm going to select this one and make it darker as well. You can easily adjust their position to get your desired result. I think it looks good for now. Maybe I could change my colors a little bit. I'm going to select this color and I'm going to use the eyedropper and choose this color from my main card. I think now it looks more interesting and more realistic. All right, so far so good. Now I'm going to do the same thing to this card and also the background that we created in the beginning of this video. And I'm going to fast forward this process. And we are done. Here is your 3D isometric design in Figma. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Stick around for more design content on Jess's channel and check out my channel too. Have a beautiful day and see you next time.